welcome back all to another video. Um, we are just setting off. It is Tuesday morning after the bank holiday weekend. Um, I have still got the trailer which we loaded, which you would have just seen uh, in the last video um, from Frankfurt. So I've had the weekend at home because I've been really unwell. Uh, I'm still not 100%, but basically I have just got into work um, and I'm just setting off now. Just got to close the gate. We'll be heading up to Horsham first for the first part of the delivery and then up to um, Stansted for the second part of the delivery. Right. It's, it's now 10 past five. Um, we've been on the road for nearly half an hour. Um, we are making good time and obviously I don't really have a time for delivery but because it was Horsham and that I thought if I got there before half past eight then um, we'd be able to get delivered and then by the time we were delivered we'd be ready to go on the M25 and up to Stansted at around like half past nine ten o'clock so hopefully that would be a lot better for the uh, obviously the traffic of the UK. Um, we are playing the Little Villages game today. Um, we are basically on what is the A281 to anyone who knows. Uh, the Horsham Road it says. I've never really been down this area. Uh, we've come off the M3 through Guildford, straight through the middle. Um, and now we're sort of just going on a little bit of a jolly, it's a cool little room, isn't it, with a little couple of columns. Um, but yeah, we're going for a bit of a jolly through the um, little bits of towns and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I'm guessing it's going to be like this for the next uh, 40 minutes because it says it's only 20 kilometers away and it says it's going to take 40 minutes, which is a long time. Uh, so I'm guessing it's going to be all small, tiny roads. I'm hoping the weather lets off a little bit because I don't really want to get soaked. Um, apparently it's seven minutes faster to go left, but that sign definitely says lorries straight for Horsham. So we're going to carry on the way we're going um, after we stop for this car that's coming around the roundabout. And that one, and then we're off again. Look at that. Um, yeah, we're going to carry on straight because Sam is obviously having one of those moments where it's trying to um, tell us what to do again. Last minute. It looks like we're just coming up to the last bit of the journey. Um, I've been dodging all these trees because in the weather obviously the branch has been breaking off. I'm trying to not break my headboard. Um, but we are planning on turning left just in a second. Whether we'll actually be able to make the turn or not, I don't know. That's a sign that we need. They're shouting at me but I'm not actually going any faster than 30, so I don't know. Right, we're going left in here. We might have to take the other side of the road. That would make it. Oh, it looks like we could make it. I can't see up the road. Uh, this says it's a street, but I'd definitely say this is more of a lane. But what do I know? I'm not a professional. Quarter of a mile it reckons up this lane. It looks like a tiny tiny um, business park. Not really suitable for an arctic. It might be different when we get up there, I don't really know. This person's gonna be committed to going past. Trees. I think I'm out of my headboard. Um, last thing I want is a tree ranch going through the front of the headboard. Be one of those days, wouldn't it? One of those days. I tried to put the, uh, what's it called on earlier on, the time lapse, but we just sat in traffic for half an hour, so there wasn't really much point. Um, so I just turned it back off again. Uh, these branches are not going to be our friend. When I used to do this on aggregate and uh, grain and all that sort of jazz, it wasn't so bad because the unit I had was like a bit rougher, so you could sort of just like plow through it all. Whereas with this truck, you just think, I don't really want a tree-shaped dent 
and it's not that I wanted a dent in any of the lorries. That's windscreen. Road belief. Um, yeah, not that I wanted a dent in any of my lorries, but it's just one of those things you like. I don't really want to damage this. We'll see what it says there's a bridge and it gets narrow. Look at that sign. Where this place is, Google Maps is saying it's literally coming up now on the left. Let's slow down in case we bottom the back of the trailer out. It's going to be very interesting because, like I was saying earlier on, all of their products stuck inside the other inside the other frames. But it's saying it's left here. It doesn't look very Arctic friendly. This is probably why they had a Luton van in the first place. We're going in here. Oh gosh. No parking for brewery only. Is the gate going to open? Do you think? Or... Push green button for access. Right, I'll get out in the rain then. Just wait till the gate fully opens because the last thing I want to do is hit the gate. I don't know how we're going to get out of there. I'm going to drive up there, reverse down there. Well, we're nearly done. Just putting the keys back in the ignition so I don't lose them. Um, it's took a while to get this offloaded um, due to, you can see there, they're just hollow frames. And the company that we deliver to, they want the hollow frames. And then the people afterwards who we're delivering to, they want all the stuff that was shoved inside the hollow frames. So, if all honesty, it's been a nightmare. but. I'm sweating, I'm dying, um, and yeah, we're basically just finishing up now. Got to shut the curtains in a sec, got two pallets to come off, and then um, we can hit the road and head up to Stansted. I've got to put it in the sat nav now and see where we're going. We're all delivered, and on the road, what I always do before I leave is always just do a lap of the lorry, just to make sure that we've got everything, and everything is all secure and shut, all the doors are all shut again. All we're in the latches in the right places, especially on curtain siders. Because anything that looks a bit dodge, like this trailer, um, just it gives people the reason to get pulled over and stuff. So it's always better to just tidy up. In a minute I'll tuck in the curtain things and then we'll be all good to go. All the straps tucked in, in my opinion it just makes it look all a bit tidier as well. And let's go and hit the road. Are you sure it's getting here? And now you'll see us leave. Nice bunch of lads, very helpful. Oh, have I got to get out and press the button again? That's so inconvenient. Working industrial relay says, be aware. I have, haven't I? I've got to get out and press the button. Right, I'll be back. I lied, I didn't have to get out. It's opening for me. This is perfect. It says no parking for brewery. So they obviously have a lot of people visiting their brewery. Oh, there's so much trailer. Oh, trailer? So much water running off my roof of the trailer now that we're at this angle. Um, we're pretty much empty now, which is nice. Uh, so it should be a nice plain sailing drive up the country. Let's see. He's letting us out. He's letting us out. What a nice guy. Not to run the grass over as we leave. Oh, they went up there, brewery parking. And we're not in Europe, so let's make sure we're on the left hand side. Um, always have to think about that now after spending so much time over there. It's weird because, like, it's never over there that you drive on the wrong side, it's always over here you drive on the wrong side. But yeah. Right, let's get out of this lane and let's get to Stansted. There's a rooster in the middle of the roundabout, or a hen, or whatever that is. I don't know. That's pretty cool. I don't know what that's about. Right, so we've just come off um, of the motorway, and we've just come down, and I've 
I was going to Stansted, but I didn't realise I was actually going to Stansted Airport. Um, so that there, right in front of us, is obviously the control tower. Um, and then it says that we're going left, which goes round to Airport Cargo. It was like Air Cargo section or something of the industrial area that we're on. Um, so that's all fun and games. Um, so we're just gonna, we're literally 500 metres away. Whether um, we're going to the right place or not is another thing. I'm just following uh, the old googly maps and the satellite. The long border road. Ah, oh, it's a FedEx plane over there. Try not to crash into this bus, thank you sir. Oh, all those people on that bus are probably going on holiday, getting out of this hellhole. Fellas. We've got to make sure we don't stop or wait around here. It says no waiting, no loading, no parking. Um, one sat nav saying the next left and the other sat nav saying that left. So we're going to go off of this one I think. Taylor's End. Yeah, that's the one. Air, or air zoom. Oh, definitely don't want to go that way. There's like loads of like police and stuff. I don't know what the company we're looking for here. Ryanair Limited, do you reckon it's that one? Probably not. Um, DHL, no. Sat nav is saying it's left and then right here. God, I don't know what it's actually called. Royal Blue. I don't think it's, I might, it might have gone the wrong way. Find out in a minute. It's, oh, that's a really nice Aspen. It's very fancy. And it's in there. Oh, it is in there. Uh, let's do some wizardry, I reckon. Doesn't look very lorry suitable. I'm going to reverse down there and then I'll let you guys know how we get on. Good morning, all. So we're all parked up um, last night and basically now we're just changing trailers um, one of our colleagues has been up dropped our trailer off last night and then now we're going to basically switch over hopefully we can pick it up because some person has decided it's a good idea to park in front of the lorry, uh, in front of the trail, which is really, really annoying. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to hear me because obviously I'm on the phone, but I'm just going to try and back under the trailer now. So I shall join you in just a second. We got, like I said a minute ago, we got to Andover last night. Um, and now we swap trailers successfully. Everyone has parked like absolute things. Use your imagination to be whatever they are, but they are that. Um, we are on the go. Um, we've got, what have we got? Let's have a two hours and four minutes to go. So we're gonna get there just an hour before booking in time. We're off to um, Northampton. So, be good fun up to Northampton and then down to Paul. No, that's a lie, just testing you. Um, down to Portsmouth and reload Portsmouth for a delivery to you. The GoPro decided that it didn't want me to tell you where we were actually going on that last little bit of a clip. Um, but we are going to Barcelona, um, so that should be good fun. But currently we're not going anywhere because we're on the A34 um, and we're just coming up to the M40 section of the A34. Obviously we want to go straight over and we're heading straight over up um, towards Northampton. But it's obviously 5 to 8 which I sort of expected. Um, like we're not really in a rush as long as we get <coughs> loaded in Portsmouth before I think it's 5 o'clock tonight. We should have loads of time so we're literally just we're only 54 minutes away now so we should be there by 10 to 9 
hopefully get tipped a little bit early and then turn the bird. And if we can get on the train and get over to France today, uh, that'll be even better. Just puts me a little bit further ahead uh, in regards to the working time. And that means I don't have to work nights because I don't really want to work nights. It looks like there's been an accident. That person looks like they're parked in the uh, central resolution. Did they actually hear? Yeah, they did. All, all the side airbags have gone off as well. He's obviously making sure that they're alright before he decides what to do with the vehicle. It's obviously just happened. Um, hopefully everyone is okay, uh, anyone involved. But yeah, let's get right to it. And we're obviously back on the road and we're moving up back up to 56. There she is guys. Um, we were all booked in at Morrison's at Swan Valley in Northampton. Um, we basically got to go through the gate, put the code in on the gate, and then um, go on to Bay 11. Okay, let's go. We've got a green light on the gate, we just put the code in. Um, and now we're going to pull through and we are on Bay 11, um, which apparently, I've never been here before, is down here. So sort of seatbelt out. Opening the back doors, back onto Bay 11, put the keys and the paperwork into the back of the trailer. And then I'm going to go and find the lavatory uh, and have a little wander around here, see what's cracking. There's Bay 11, we've got enough room to back on. Oh, you fuck. Silly sucker, do not you? At least we can go and open the doors while they do that. Right, one sec. Well, back doors are open um, and we've been able to move. Just backing onto the bay now. It's always the ones that are awkward, aren't they? It's the ones that are next to... I'm having one of those mornings where it's like fiddle with the steering wheel like 90 million times rather than just if you're not a lorry driver like you don't need to touch the steering wheel 19 million times like it's just small movements which do the biggest difference and the main thing obviously getting it on the bay is like just get it straight first and then you don't have to worry about anything else but obviously with this trailer it's like fancy trailer in it so you've got to try and be a bit careful right we're on the bait let's go and drop the paperwork in the back and um and the key we are finally free after just under two hours in there um we got tipped and we are on the go um we are two hours and 25 minutes away we're pretty much back down the same road all the way down to portsmouth um, and I shall meet you guys when we get there. So guys, um, I haven't really got anything new to report. Uh, there hasn't been anything exciting going on. Uh, basically I'm just sat at the collection waiting the load uh, isn't ready yet he doesn't know how many pallets it's gonna be or anything like that so um, we're just pulled over to the side um, of this little yard and we're just basically waiting over here um, but obviously we have got the back doors open ready for when he's ready and we'll pull forward next to this chap over here um, uh, when he is ready to load me um, hopefully it won't be loads and loads and then we can just pump him on the back and be on our way um, heading for the train and then uh, from the train obviously we'll be heading down towards uh, through France and then down towards Spain so we'll see how we get on I'll update you once we um, start getting loaded and we're on the road so just a shout out to anyone that does lorry driving um, I've got my load uh, it's two pallets to go all the way to Barcelona brilliant sounds good to me and that is my two pallets loaded for Barcelona that we are loaded um, 
funny story, so you would have just seen anyway, but only two pallets to go um, all the way to the good old Barcelona. So nice and light, basically empty. Doesn't even weigh a ton, it's like 900 kilos. Um, so we should be all good in that front. I just think it's mental, but I'm not asking too many questions. Maybe we'll just let us go. Um, no point of asking too many questions, doesn't make sense. All I want to do is make it to the truck wash so that I can get my lorry washed before we head over. So we've basically got not a lot of time to basically try and beat the M25 traffic all the way around. Well, we've got to go up the A3, all the way up around the M25. Um, but yeah, we are trying to basically get to the Barcelona delivery which I now know is the Disney Dream Cruise Liner so do let me know if anyone's been on the Disney Dream Cruise Liner because that'll be a good laugh um, if anyone's I've delivered to it before in Southampton uh, and now I'm going to deliver it obviously in Barcelona which is kind of cool um, so obviously we'll see how we do with that and stuff and I shall catch you guys probably when we're a bit close to 710 and we're gonna get a truck wash I'll show you guys the truck wash place if we make it that is Guys, we are making good time. Um, a lot there over there is the operation block, stack, tap, whatever it's called. Um, technically, the signs say that you should be in it if you're going to the port or to the train. My argument is that I'm not going to those places. I'm going to Sevington. So I'm over here. Um, whether that's right or not, but I'm not going to say it's one with 12 miles or whatever it is. Like, it's not worth it. Or 30 miles an hour with 12 miles. Um, but yeah, we've come to the end of it. There's no lane. We're not cutting anyone up. Everyone else is doing exactly the same behind me. Um, personally, I just think it's a waste of time. So again, I'm not a professional, so they might know something a bit different. But um, yeah, anyway, so we are, like I say, just over six minutes away from coming off at Sevington. People are undercutting each other, as you can just see in front of us. Um, and we'll be, we're pre-authorised, so we should be able to just sit in the cab until um, basically they message us to say that our T1 form is available. Well, here we are at Sevington. First of all, obviously, if you've seen the other videos, you'll know this, but that first booth, you tell them basically um, what you want and all that. I obviously thought that my um, camera was on the mode of talking normally, and it turns out that it was on the zoom zoom mode. Um, so I've had to do a voice in for this, but we got parked. So hey guys, we are half done. Uh, we have our red car. Um, just heading back to the lorry now. Um, Basically, didn't take very long. I think about 25 minutes, maybe half an hour. That man's staring at me funny because I'm holding my camera up and filming in a really secure compound that you're not allowed to film in. Um, but yeah, let's get down to the train. Well, just like that, walked back to the truck, got back to the lorry. A mate boy was like, oh, are you this one? And I was like, yes. And then he was like, Oh, you have to go back. And he was like, you've forgotten something. And I was like, no, I haven't. And I was like, I've got my T1. And he was like, no, no, no. He was like, you have to go back. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I don't. And he was like, he was like, okay, if you don't want to go back, don't then. And I was like, all right. I was like, okay. I was like, and I got in the lorry and I was like, actually, if I go all the way to Barcelona and they don't take the goods because I've forgotten something, I was like, I better go and check. So I um, went back and mate, gave me literally the identical bit of paperwork he said you forgot this <coughs> apologies um, he said you forgot this bit of paperwork and i said what do you mean and then he showed me it and it literally just had the mrn number on it and my reg and i was just like okay and then i took it and it's exactly the same as what i had so i don't really know what's going on there but we got a red card for one million fit this month um, and now we are heading to stop 24 to grab some diesel in both fuel tanks, uh, fill a ride up and then get her um, down to the train. So we're not that far away, we're only about 15 minutes away from the train. Let's try and get past before all these people get to the zebra crossing. Must be home time, 7 o'clock. 
shift change or something. Um, but yeah, right. I shall get some fuel and I'll meet you back when we get to the train. Oh, what a day. It's literally taken ages to get through here. Um, obviously, I started at half past six, so I haven't got that long left. Um, we've only got just under two hours. So, I had enough time. I had like three hours, but it's taken us literally ages to get through to the lanes. Uh, all the lanes are rammed. So, it's one of those that just, again, it goes back with the boat. It's like, how much time do you leave to be able to get over? When I checked the thing, it said fluid, fluid. When I turned up, it said check in fluid. It isn't. And then it said lanes, two hours. So obviously I had three hours. Whereas it took an hour or so just to get through. So it's just one of those, isn't it? I have made my dinner, so I'm gonna eat that now. Um, and then I'll probably jump on when we're boarding the train because nothing is happening exciting today boys um mate boy tagged me on the back of another lane and then uh we're we'll, we'll going straight on uh literally got in the lane sat there for two minutes and then all the lorries were leaving so um definitely can't complain with that we might actually make it we've got one hour and 24 minutes normally takes 40 minutes on the uh the old train itself so hopefully we've got another 40 minutes pull off, park in the train parking for the night um, and it will be all gravy. So um, yeah, if you haven't seen any of the other videos, we've basically, sometimes I've done it so you're on the back camera looking back, sometimes I've done it on your front camera. I've mixed it all around every time. Um, I haven't been on the train since I've had my new splitter on, um, all my little side railings, so I've got to be a bit careful. Um, they don't make any lower the railings, but obviously again i don't really want to hit anything so the window will be going down and we'll be coming onto the train what i'm going to do is put a time lapse on because i like to concentrate and then before i've done it in my other videos and you, i've talked the whole way but today obviously i just want to concentrate as i haven't done it in a while so um i'll put the time lapse on and you guys will be able to see it on there thank you very much We're on the train and just waiting for the bus. Bonjour! We are here in France. Um, I have two AirPods in, so I'm going to take them out. Um, and we have just arrived. I have messed up my taco because I pressed the wrong button. Um, so now I've accidentally selected ferry mode, which is really annoying because I don't want to be on a ferry. I just wanted to put that I was in France begin place instead of begin ferry mode um, I obviously clicked the wrong button and that's really annoying because I've still got 20 minutes left of my day <coughs> I've got an orange line on Civet so I need to go to Civet but I don't have time to go to Civet today so I'm going to go and clear I'm going to go and park up and then go to Civet in the morning hopefully that'll be fine um, but I don't really have a lot of choice and I'm not going over my time obviously I've accidentally put it on ferry mode um, which is really like I say really annoying because it obviously affects the card as well because it shows as a ferry movement when I don't want a ferry movement because one I didn't need a ferry movement two I didn't go on a ferry movement and uh, a ferry sorry but yeah anyway France welcome we're gonna go in the truck park in the train which is literally just outside the door you'll see it in a second um, there's our mates TWB or TVX should I say not TWB because that's the parking place um, through here oh probably not it's a bit too soon didn't I 
custom status, customs, instructions, green, orange. We are orange. But yeah, like I say, I'm gonna go in, sort out in the morning. Um, they can wait patiently for me. I've just been editing the video from last week. Uh, the end of it's a bit boring because it's just me driving down the 303. Um, but apart from that, obviously I'll be editing this one and then this one will be coming out probably next week because um, we've got one coming out at the end of this week. The one coming out at the beginning of the next week. I'm yawning now. So. I've plugged the toll box in, so hopefully the light is green on that actually see it yeah the light's green on that one so we're all good there should be a screen here that says you're reg on it i think like a screen on that building there that says like you're reg and if you need to go to customs or not because they put these screens everywhere but you never know like if you actually have to go or not but i'm gonna like i say go into the parking area which it is this way from what i remember Oh, that's not good. It says the parking area is full. Uh, probably. I didn't think that would go. Oh dear. The truck village full. Right, we're gonna have to think about something like that. I'm gonna make a phone call and see if we can get further down. I've just gone in the Civet Lane, because if it's full and it won't let us in, then, um, there's no point of going in there um, and we might have to go in the other parking that white line is not a happy white line um, and we'll see what happens good morning guys so you join me from the um, total energies garage at the train it was absolute carnage in here last night and um, there is as24 there and everything um, but we ended up parking in this spot I pulled out of the Sevington not Sevington the Sibet Customs which is over there had to do a lap of the place and then we come down in the last spot it was saying it was, there was 14 spaces but there wasn't any spaces the last spot was this one here so we parked in here which is no parking uh, everyone's got out fine all good so uh, there's no problems there and we're about to hit the road to head towards Barcelona right the mission now is to try and get out of here um, so last night when I drove down, I drove down two sets of roads. I drove down this set and the one over there. From what I remember, there was a barrier at the end and you couldn't get out. I don't know how you're meant to get out. Can you get out at the end or not? Oh, you can. But people were parked there, so it was like, it was impossible basically to get out from turning where I was. But I'm hoping so we can get out with it paid on the toll box and then we don't have to worry about anything. All directions exit to me. I would like the exit. I don't really know where the exit is. It says exit on the floor so hopefully that's right. <coughs> gonna get out of here. Like I say we've already done the customs and stuff so we're literally just gonna drive all the arrows are pointing the other way on the floor, which is not very reassuring. But is it this way? We don't want to go. We don't want to go to the UK. Is that the way out or not? I think we just went the wrong way. Oh. <coughs> Oh no, actually it's fine, isn't it? Because there is a roundabout. I can't I remember, quite remember with this place. Because they do so many roadworks and stuff, it gets confusing. So obviously it says exit for Great Britain. And obviously I don't want to go, obviously straight back into the lane to Great Britain. But I think, if I, if I remember rightly, there's a little roundabout. And we might be able to go round the roundabout. Uh, we've got to work out whether we have to pay to get out of it first or it does on the toll box. It beeped when we came in, so I'm hoping it'll just beep on the way out. Oh, the barrier is open, which is a good start. It's 
quite tight this. That's very tight. Right, we're in we're in the little booth section. We didn't get a ticket or anything last night, so whether it will just it peaked again. And it's open, look at that. Perfect. Looks like we just come in as a train's come in as well. There's loads of lorries. Yeah, there's the little roundabout I was thinking of. Um, and we should be able to go round that roundabout. Basically follow it out like as if we were leaving now. Ha, huh, nice and simple. After a bit of stress last night. Because the main lorry part was full and I've never been in that part. Um, but if I'd known that we could have gone in there, I would have gone straight in there instead of going to customs. Um, and then just done customs in the morning. But we'll see what happens. Right, we want to get this way. Yeah, so there's 168 spaces now. There wasn't 168 spaces last night. So obviously we went that way to Sivet. But now we are free to go. So right, let's get on the road and I shall see you guys when we see something a bit more exciting. Right, so I'm mixing it up a little bit today. Um, normally, when we come to Rouen, we go all the way around. Uh, as Satnav says that you've got to go right around the outside. Um, however, I've been told that we can actually go straight through the tunnel. Um, there was roadworks or something a few years back or something and it's messed up the Satnavs. So I'm not really sure what's happening, but it's a 4.5 meter tunnel, which we're obviously fine about, and it's obviously ADR. So that's fine because we're not we're not ADR or anything. So um, that that is the current plan is I'm going to go through the tunnel. Um, I don't know when it's coming up. Um, I don't know if it's just coming up in a second. I'm just gonna push this car out. Is it just gonna pull out anyway, whether he wants to or not? So we've got to go down on this hill, obviously, um, and I assume it drops down to Rouen. I've been told that once you go through the tunnel, there's a good view on the right-hand side um, that comes out by the cathedral and stuff. But again, like I say, I don't really know. Uh, I've not done this route. So if we can go this way and come back the other way, which it looks like because there's lorries coming the other way, it means that like all the millions of diversion signs and stuff that were the other side, um, oh, Ferrari, and uh, the other side could potentially save 20 to 25 minutes roughly because that's how much we lost the other day when we went through the port. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't really know, um, so we'll find out. But there's millions of signs to say the height and all this sort of stuff, so hopefully, um, it's just basically like every junction is like 4.5 meters turn off, any ADR turn off. Um, but yeah, we're on a good little track. I don't know how far away it actually is. But I'll jump back on just before we go through the tunnel itself. It was literally like a couple of seconds later. Um, maximum speed 70 kilometers, which is fine. We're doing 60. Um, and yeah, there's no signs to say no lorry. It says no lorry overtaken and all that. So I think we're all good in that front. Um, uh, it's 1.5 kilometers long from what I understand. Uh, I'm going to set the adaptive cruise control to 65. That should give us some good distance from everyone else. Um, again, it's got its little blue lines, blue uh, lights, which obviously that's how far. It doesn't say anywhere that's how far they want you from, but from what I've learned about tunnels is the blue lights is a safe distance that they want you ideally in the tunnel. Uh, but it's all very much downhill. Um, I've got the camera on the side ready to go if we do get anything cool at the side. What I'll do with that is I'll, if it's good and I'm still talking on here, I'll just put it on the side with you guys. I'm going to turn that off so that it's not reflecting um, and you can actually see. Um, but yeah, we're coming out the other side now. Hopefully good it's saying that we're turning on the national in 1.9 kilometers i'm going to start the um one on the other side just in case we do see it i can't see a oh there it is the computer over there 
Um, I've put the side camera on, so you obviously I'll put it up in the top corner so you guys will be able to see that as well. Um, but yeah, it just says 70. As I say, all, all routes, routes, route on centre. Alright, well that was a lot easier and better than definitely going all the way around. Um, and if I hadn't seen anything saying you can't go the other way either, and there's lorries going through, so I'll definitely be doing that in the, in the, in the future, because like I say, it saves time. Every, anything to save 20, 25 minutes could mean you get to the boat rather than having to park around Calais somewhere. So we'll see how it goes. I just want to get to where the um, cathedral bit is. I'm going to turn the front camera off and leave the side camera on um, and then see how we get on. Alright, so we're back. We're just going to stick with the side camera for now. Um, and hopefully, as we go around this bend here, you guys will be able to see the um, good old cathedral. It should be just as we go past these trees now. It looks like we're doing work to the top of it. It's just on the left. I'll put a little, a little arrow or something. Um, yeah, ideal. That is Ruan completed and you saw a little bit of the video. I'd like to go and visit one day. My boss says it's pretty good. He went the other week. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm just going to carry on over water. Because uh, there's a little bridge coming up soon. And we'll see how we get on. It actually looks like a really, really nice place. Um, it's all like high up. We're high up on the river bits. There's a bird that we need to swim into. Uh, we're coming off here, so we need to move over. Look at that! The weather is not ideal either. So we have to go this way because it's three and a half ton the other way. You're a bit slippy on that corner. I don't know where this weather's come from. It's horrendous. Right, let's get back up onto the motorway and uh, get going again. Right then guys, we are um, just, from what I understand, about to join the main road again uh, after doing a bit of nationals. Uh, there's two massive sort of warehouse sort of businesses, that's GXO, um, they've got them in the UK, I don't know what this one is on the left. But yeah, we're coming up to the pay just now and we're heading for Orleans, and um, we're not that far away from what I understand. Um, but yeah, we're 10 hours and 55 minutes away in the lorry and we've got 3 hours and 13 minutes left on this 9 hour drive. So we should have plenty of time to get it down to eight, around 8 hours. So tomorrow, depending on whether we're going to go to Barcelona and park at Barcelona or whether we're going to park at uh, just outside the outskirts, I'm not entirely sure, we haven't decided. Um, but whatever we do there, um, we can make a decision then and we'll get all the way to Barcelona if we wanted to or we'll get even further if we want to get even further. There's the barrier and we are good to go. We want to actually be all the way over on the left. So uh, realistically we should have followed that guy across I did. Right we'll cut across here and we're joining the motorway now. The is good, the time is good. We've got 13 minutes left on a nine hour drive. Um, and we are about eight minutes away from a parking area that I've found. So hopefully, um, I'm doing that thing where I'm risking it all for money and fame. Um, when we will make it will be a different story. Um, apart from we are going to overtake this lorry because the hill's steep. 
and he's slow but doing roughly rather than I'll show you guys since I've reset my mileage trip um, before I left we are doing we've done 885 kilometers um, and we are averaging 11.4 miles per gallon for the old V8 that's not too bad really um, so that's pretty good but yeah hopefully we can get parked so what I'll do is I'll jump back on when we uh, get a bit close to the parking and then uh, hopefully we're in for a win well guys I just thought I'd show you this quickly um, so we've got some sort of pedal bike thing but the best thing here the signal's not that great so they've actually got free wi-fi in their lay-by in the middle of nowhere toilets are really nice um i've just been over here but i'll show you guys just for the sake of it um for the fact that this is in the middle of nowhere all right that's very clean um it says we maintain our motor facilities at this motorway daily please help us keep it clean so yeah proper nice little place free water as well i never know if it's drinkable but um i don't know i'm parked right down there but yeah what a cracking little evening it is thought i'd get out go for a little bit of a wonder because i've been sat in the cab all day um i need to go to the toilet anyway so just thought yeah worth having a look around seeing what was going on right. the lorry needs to clean because it's absolutely hanging We've just had our reload in and it looks like we're going to probably be in Barcelona for the weekend um, but we'll see what happens. Good morning guys, um, for you guys obviously it hasn't been that long again but for me um, I've had about 11 and a bit hours off, uh, like I say we're not really in a rush um, so I've just been taking it a bit easier, um, resting up, getting better which is ideal. Um, now we have got, what have we got? Let's help you. Eight hours and two minutes until we get to Barcelona. Well, we're not going all the way there today um, due to the fact that we're not delivering until half past seven tomorrow morning. So there's not really much point. So the plan for today is to park about an hour or so away. So really we've only got seven hours to drive. Um, which is pretty decent um, so yeah just started seven o'clock in the morning just got UK time um, and let's go head on down through the daytime and have a look we get to go over I've definitely pronouncing it wrong the Mi Milau Viaduct which I'm excited for because it's something I've always wanted to go over um, and it looks pretty well it looks spectacular so hopefully we can get some footage of that um, and we can enjoy that together um, yeah uh, latest video obviously uploading you guys would have watched already which I've been sorting out and that's going to be released tonight um, and then yeah basically just going to sort this one out it's probably going to be a two parter again so we'll see what happens and then um, got our reload in our reload obviously in for Monday so we need to work out where we're going to park the weekend and then yeah go from there basically Wah. just yawning I don't know why I'm tired but yeah um, let's get to it and see a very large uh, payage I don't know what's going on here it looks like they've all crashed into each other so I'm going to go over here it looks like that boat's potentially crashed into that lake. Are they all crashed into each other? I don't know. I'm assuming I can actually use this booth, which might be the next problem. So basically sometimes you can't use them with the telepaths. So we'll see what happens. Ah, there you go, well, it's on this one, thankfully. We can avoid the carnage, whatever was going on there. I'm assuming the lorry's broken and not being able to get through, so therefore the cars are probably reversed into each other. 
that just seems like a normal thing that would happen. But yeah, and we're off again. Busy climbing hills for so long now. Um, and now we've just come to like the peak bit and then there's been signs saying use engine brake and all that sort of stuff. So obviously uh, we've got quite a steady hill to go down now, um, which we're just doing like 76 kilometers down because again, I'm not really in a rush. Um, and we're just on the end of break down the hill. Um, better to be safe than to be sorry. So um, yeah, it's uh, what is it? Six percent downhill for two kilometers. Proper nice. If it was the weather was nice, it'd be amazing. But like the views are just far and wide. I made out of rocks. Little village, little native village or something. We're not really sure to be honest. Um, just coming off the motorway now, um, just to get some Abley. Just trying to work out the way into the air uh, parking. It's really here. Right, we need fuel. The lorries is straight ahead. This is like a massive parking area, but it's like for both sides of the road, so I assume it's probably pretty big. Right, fuel? No. Uh, that's all new lorries. I need fuel. Where do I go? Do 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 do. There's a height markers, but all the barriers are aren't across, so I don't really know what that's about either. All right, we need AS24. Aha, AS24 there. Please have Abley. Let's go in here. I reckon. Where's the Abley? Is that Abley, that one there? Oh, out of service. It's always the way. Let's choose the next one. The next one's definitely not got the red jobby on it, so might be in for a win. Hey, was filling up. Whether we'll shower us or not. This is a different story. Right, that'll do. Let's go get some out here. So, we've just stopped in this air parking. I don't know what that is over there. Some sort of like lookout, it's not quite a castle, but it's pretty cool. Another overpriced services. It's like four euros fifty for a hot chocolate or a coffee. So this is stuff though. Right? A fresh cheese shop. There's the cheeses. These things that we won't name on YouTube just in case we get in trouble. All the bottles of Chasbury. Sheep. Red stick from the shop. And uh, yeah, basically the inverter is on, so it might be a bit loud. And we're heading for. Spanish border, but we got to do the Milau or bridge or whatever the hell it's called. Um, but yeah, Just try and find the motorway again, basically. So there was literally so many of these opportunities that I had to film 
um, out of the side camera but I just took a couple because the videos obviously get really long but this one was one of my favourites and the view was just insane. Guys, here we are, we've got a cracker coming out. So, this is the Milau M-I-L-L-A-U Viaduct. Look at it. It's insane. I've always wanted to drive this just because it's I don't know how actual long it is but it's long you're not allowed to stop in the parking area which really annoys me because it's three and a half time and um, yeah you can't stop I assume that's because you don't, they don't want you sleeping down here and all that sort of stuff but it's insane it's massive it goes on for ages and it's like yeah, I don't really know anything about bridges, but people will probably be like, oh, I've been on a bit of that, or so, oh, I know that bridge, but, or buy that bridge thing, I don't know. But, yeah, great to me. I wonder if we can actually get in that parking lot. I wonder if it is funny. There's a lot of weight limit signs, so it makes me think that there's probably a, a shop and a restaurant and all that sort of stuff, which is probably, all, yeah, three and a half ton, three and a half ton. There's definitely a no on that from there, like that, so that. Oh, it's because there's a whole like museum down the bottom. Um, yeah, you're definitely not getting down there in a in a lorry. Well, you get in there, whether you get in trouble is a different story. But, oh, what? You can actually walk up. They have a whole shop, and you can walk up and around, and you can view it from up here. Proper cool. I've got the uh, camera on the ready on the side. Um, to go so in a second I'll press start on that um, I'm gonna do a little count I'm gonna be like three two one and there we are we are in now you've got a view from the side so I'll put that in the top corner um, not really you can actually see because there is an annoying um, barrier in the way but it is insane I'm gonna have to Google it and find out like a bit more information about it. I'll put like a little snippet of the name of it and how long it is and that the, from Google Maps on the um, video like I did the other day with the other bridge. Uh, I think it was in Germany on my other video. But this is just like if I. They just don't do this in the UK, do they? Like, there's some places where, but you're not building a viaduct bridge this long. You would have gone down and around, like the A38 or whatever. You would have gone down the dip and up the dip, or the A30 or whatever sort of bridge uh, areas. Maybe like Scotland area might have some stuff like this, but this is just so. It's a shame you can't see off the side there. They basically got these, obviously like these curved bits for the wind and all that sort of stuff like they do on the M4 bridge across the Wales um, but pretty impressed with that I'd definitely like to stop at some point and um, do that I might have to come down in the car that is pretty impressive if I do say so myself Oh, we've nearly completed it as well. How long did it take? So from where I started, it was like three minutes and 40 seconds right now. So we're just about to come off. Look at that. Completed it. So it's one of those what went up, had to come down situations again. Um, so we obviously climbed up the big mountain um, over the top and we had to come down this hell of a wiggy hill. Um, it was actually pretty cool to be fair, but we were basically just on the end of brake most of the way down and just taking it steady. Um, you could see the view from the side here, uh, which I was going to put on top of that in the corner, but obviously being a time lapse, it didn't quite work as well as I wanted to. But you were a fair old height up um, and yeah, it was a hell of a view, definitely worth it. And I'm so glad that I had the side camera to capture this bit here. Right, well, this is interesting. Uh, I can't really hear anything because obviously coming down that hill, my ears haven't popped, uh, so this could be fun because obviously not been very well. It's like when you go on an airplane, you're not very well, and your ears go funny. And this is exactly what's happening to me right now. Uh, but I'll put it on the time lapse as you come down. You would have seen it. It was amazing. It was just like back-to-back -back wiggles, 
um, proper slow, like, you, like or, or I've just put it in manual and put it on the um, engine brake, and it just come down nice and steady, lots to look at, proper, proper good road, do like that. We're going to be interesting going back up when we're fully loaded, because um, that's going to be a long hill. Why did you pull in so close? To but um, yeah, this is a proper cool road. Loads of big, um, what's we call it, houses and churches and stuff on the right hand side. Um, temperature's gone from 13 degrees up to 18 as well, so we might be in for a bit of warm weather as well. So, see how it goes. Optimising our four and a half hour drives, we're just pulling off at Air de Poolham and we have two minutes left, so hopefully we can get a very quick. Um, lorries off to the left straight away, which is ideal. Hopefully it's literally like drive around and park straight away and not drive around for four hours. Trying to find somewhere to park. Oh, is it empty as well? Oh, look at that. Oh, it's going here then. Parked nicely in here like that. Look at that. Two minutes still on the taco. Put that on brake and we are here for half an hour. Just been for a little bit of a walk around. There's the old girl. Old dirt in covering flies. Massive, um, massive parking area. Goes on for quite a while. Walk around for 10 minutes, stretch the legs, and then get ready for the next four and a half hour stint. We're just coming up to the next payage. There is a 30 km section on this one, so we're going to be right over here following this red lorry. Uh, hopefully we can go through at 30 km if he doesn't slow down too much. Uh, we have a sign and it says A9 Barcelona on the sat map. So we'll see what happens. Come on chat. That's 30. Hopefully we don't drive in the back of him if his whole thing doesn't work. Mind speed. Yes, green. Okay, let's go. Right, we are through there, and then we apparently are doing a right, keep to the right, it says two lanes, 600 metres, so not long, we're not allowed to overtake, so let's stay behind him, there it is, Barcelona, Toulouse, Narbonne, Narbon? I don't know, one of the two, um, yeah, so let's go and see how long it's going to be on this road. And I don't know if you guys can quite make out, but the left side of the road is basically all sea. Um, I'm not really familiar with this area, but I think we're going to be running obviously now along the coastline, um, potentially. There's quite a lot of lay-bys on this road, which is pretty good. Um, and yeah, it's going to, it's very open up with a lot of mountains coming up. So that's obviously the borderline, I'm assuming, from my brief knowledge, because obviously you've got like um, I think it is. Um, it runs in its country in the middle between the two. Um, but yeah, we'll be going over. We're only two hours away from where we're going to park now. Um, so yeah, make it a good time. So guys, as you would have just seen, um, we crossed over into España uh, on the old time lapse. Um, so we are obviously going to be looking at pulling over to sort out the taco. I've just um, killed a bug right in the middle of my windscreen, right in front of my eyes. And it's actually kind of annoying because now I can't get it off. But yeah, we need to pull over, basically find somewhere to um, do the old L taco. Um, and then, yeah, we've only got an hour and 20 minutes to go, so not a bad little run ahead. We are officially off of the motorway. It just ended. So there's like an AP7 or something that goes to Barcelona, and then because we're going to go and park at a place called Malgrat del Mar, uh, that then changes to the AP2, and then now we're on the National 11, which is literally a single track. Well, not a single track, but a normal, a normal A road, as you would call it in the UK, I assume. Um, so we're just going to trundle along this road and um, see where we get to. Uh, 
well, apparently only 22 minutes away, but I think it's less than that because I think the sat nav might be trying to do some weird and wonderful things just because it can when we are in Spain and it loves it. So, um, yeah, loads of abandoned stuff like buildings and stuff. We'd totally come here and buy that abandoned church, just live in that. I was a bit concerned about coming off and parking like in the middle of nowhere but like it seems like we're probably going to be in a wind because there's lorries parked everywhere and everywhere so it doesn't really matter. So guys, shorts and sandals are on. It's a banging day. We're parked up nice and tightly to the back of that lamppost. And uh, yeah, I think we're on for a winner. We're off to the beach. I've got the electric scooter out. I'm just gonna see how it goes. Guys, a bit windy, but we officially made it to the beach. And the water is lovely. It's just because uh, of the wind, it's obviously a bit leery. Like there, it's a bit aggy. It's a bit warm. Clear. I would go in, but I don't really want to leave my seat unattended on the ground, on the sand. So, guys, I've just stopped for a second to have a look around the shops. Pretty cool. 